whole bunch of wind. Seven and a half hour drive. Oh, shit! Eight ninety five for some rain boots. Yes. Oh. And we're on the second channel with it, man. And um, y'all know uh, a tragic moment of my life. This is probably like the worst thing that ever happened. I ain't gonna lie to you, but this shit is crazy. But uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys know. For those who don't know. My father passed about like four days ago. Listen there. Man. This shit crazy. He passed, bro. He passed like a few days ago. You feel me? I don't know. Hearing the news, it was just like hella. It was unbelievable. Like, my grandma called me. I woke up out of my sleep. And just was like, man, your father passed. Man. My father was like a huge role model in my life, bro. Huge inspiration. Like he was there. Like he was actually trying to be a father for you. I'm not gonna even say trying. He was. You feel me? But growing up as a kid, he most definitely was trying to like be in my life. You know, I respect him for that. Um, he raised me to the man I am today. And you know, I, you know, I'll probably learn some some bad things from him that I didn't want to do in life. And I'm not saying, like, no negative shit. Like, bro, my dad was a straight positive person. Most definitely, like, never showed his bad side. Never was mad. Never showed his frustration. Any of that. He was just always a positive person, bro. You can ask anybody. And uh, when I was about, like, 19, 20, 19, I kind of moved away from him. I don't know, like, disrespectful stuff. We talked every day. But it was just, like, I wanted to grow as a person. So I had moved cities. And, uh... You know, hearing this news is crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I was gonna fly out there, but the flights was like four or five hundred or something like that. So I'm like, I'm not gonna spend that on a flight or whatever. Plus, I need to get around when I go out there. Like, I need transportation. So right now we're driving. And, uh, we got like a seven and a half hour drive, and pretty much I'm, I'm just gonna help my sister out. You know, moving stuff around and stuff like that, bro. This, this shit is really like crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I swear to God, I didn't know what to think when my grandma called me crying. And it didn't really hit me then. When my grandma called me, it didn't really hit me in that moment when she said what was happening, what happened. Uh, she was like, call his phone. I called his phone and uh, the police answered the, the phone call, bro. That shit is crazy. And that's when it hit me. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's when it hit me. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is crazy, bro. But I appreciate everybody that sent their uh, condolences and the little picture I posted on my community page on my main uh, on my main channel. You know, I appreciate it. You feel me? Death doesn't really come around me a lot. And you know what's also crazy? My grandma just passed literally like five days after my dad passed. So. And this is like the closest death that, I'm not gonna say closest, but yeah, yeah, closest family members. You know, death doesn't really come around me at all. Like sisters, you know, uncles, stuff like that. My grandpa, he passed away like a few years ago and stuff like that, but it doesn't really hit the same. I can't really show fake love. It doesn't really hit the same when you don't really like have a connection with that person, you know what I'm saying? But my dad, my grandma, you feel me? They were really close. Like I stayed with my grandma for a few months when I turn 19 and stuff like that but I will always ask myself like who, who's gonna be the first in my family you know and I swear to god bro I would have never thought it was gonna be my dad so that shit is, it just hits different bro that shit it's crazy it's crazy but I'm good though like I said bro I want my boy Mikey you know Mikey in the cut tight shit tight shit got Mikey with me I had to be here for my boy. I got to support this shit. It's crazy, though. Tell you shit. It's all crazy. I wouldn't wish anything like this to happen to anybody that I know that I'm close with. Especially with Vaughn, because me and him, I don't know. Ever since I did, started doing this YouTube shit and I became this camera man, we got, like, hella close. Like, the chemistry is crazy. So it's like, me, I'm just being here for support, to be honest, and helping out so he can get through it so he won't be alone and shit. Uh, I'm gonna be good though, bro. I appreciate everybody that sent their condolences.
illnesses and stuff like that. I know it's pretty loud because we're driving. <laughs> Again, we're cruising at 92, which is crazy. We don't even feel like it. I feel like I'm going like 75. But we got a long drive. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to record too much, but I do know that we're going to try to get some main channel content out there. So y'all stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, man. That's what we're doing right now. Day this is gonna be posted. And nigga, guess what? what? <laughs> we just hit yeah, 100k on the second channel. <laughs> we did? Oh shit. <laughs> on me, we just hit 100k today, man. What the fuck? I'm at like 105k. 105k. I just when the fuck you hit, hit that shit? I just hit it. Shout out to y'all boys too that been subscribing to the second channel, bro. I know. Give me my second play. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my second play. I need it. Hey, you know what's crazy, bro? I still didn't get my fucking first play from my main channel. Bro? No, bro. I ain't got that shit. What the fuck? I still ain't get my first play. But shit, I'm going to need it, though. I'm going to need it. Especially when I hit a million on my, on my main channel. Once I hit a million on my main channel, I'm going to need that play for sure. Oh, God. Stop bullshitting. Man. Shout out to everyone. They've been liking the video, commenting, subscribing, and stuff like that, man. Shout out to y'all. Oh, me it is. It's a hello, Wendy. That's it's crazy. Different. This is a whole bunch of wind and wind sand. Wind sand combined together. Man, it's a hella dusty. Look hella weird. I wonder what it looks like if a fast-ass car was just like shoot Zoom in? Yeah, shoot through this bitch. So let's try it. He was ready. Oh my god, this is terrible. We should probably stop soon, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I think it is. Really? Giving niggas to work on the road. Let me find out. She tell you guys, don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, me, she low key whipping that bitch.
just cracked my window, yo. Shit is fucking insane, bro. A rock just flew and just hit my shit hella hard. And the thing about these little cracks, bro, they like to spread. They gonna spread. After like a week or something like that, they just gonna keep spreading and spreading. So I gotta get a new windshield and get my windshield retinted. I'm surprised they didn't hit the car in front of us. Bro, that shit flew over hella cars, nigga. I just seen that shit just damn smack my shit. But sometimes it be it be like coming up under people's like tires. Yeah. Like the back tires, it be spinning and then it just shoots out. So unfortunate shit. But make sure you like the video, watch all the ads so I can get money back. <laughs> watch all so, of them. Watch all the ads, all right? Watch them to the very end. I'm gonna need the money back to pay for this damn windshield. Right. Unfortunate situations. Hey, uh, y'all see all this road right here? And then this is where you let the games be gained on shit like this, boy. Just straight, straight away, boy. Try to max out your car and just fly, bro. And I would say like a road like this because it's no turns, really. It's just a straight ass shot. I mean, it's kind of turning a little bit right now. But other than that, listen, bro. That shit, like if I if I was to start way back there, oh my god, I most definitely would have got up to like 175 at least. But once you start getting to 160 and stuff like that, it just starts going up a little bit slower. Niggas need a Hellcat for real. It's time for a Hellcat. I ain't finna do it though, but I ain't finna, I ain't finna push that much for real. It's tempting though, it's tempting. But I gotta get gas in a minute. We're about to stop, our first stop. I filled up my car last night. Ended up being on a half tank before we left today. We put 40 in my tank, We're about to go fill up. I'm gonna show you guys everything that's going on, but y'all stay tuned. California. <laughs> nah, head ass. Come on, man. Food more. <laughs> I don't think they gonna be over here. What the fuck? Oh, right here though. Bro, I feel bad for the dog, bro. It's a little stranded. Anyways, uh. Yeah. I mean, we didn't touch down in Cali. We were supposed to be, but we ain't Cali right now. Shit. Hello, bro. Hey man, if y'all ever on a trip, you feel me? I need some snacks. These right here, bros, these be busting. This ain't no sponsorship. It's Doritos, so don't be don't be doing none of that shit. Best drink too on the road. Get any of these brisk, you feel me? These brisk down here type shit. No fucking blue. Oh, they don't got the blue ra raspberry lemonade. That's some bullshit. But there's a mini maid, you got blue raspberry type shit. Best snacks, you feel me? Bitches. You wanna just get one, bro? Alright. Wanna get one? Yeah, Alright, I'll get one. That ain't one of them blue dogs. Yes, it is. You wanna do that B power? It don't even look like it did damage, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it's gonna spread, bro. That shit's so good. That only hit the front one? Yeah, you should, you should be straight. That shit only hit the front. Bro, there's two, bro, there's two of the things. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but it went through that. You don't see the, the lines coming out of that? I mean, I see the lines, but it went through the front one, not the second one. <laughs> nah, I still have to put the whole shit. I'm hella mad about that. I ain't gonna lie. It's lucky bad, too. Too goddamn cold, nigga. You put that motherfucker on. <laughs> For those who don't know, <laughs> this kid might need to need it, bro. <laughs> bro. He touched the cold for two seconds. This nigga's whole body is frozen, bro. bro. Nigga be coming in my car, turning that bitch on 82 all the time. Like, 82 is hot as hell. 
I told you he a friendly dog or she. It might be a she. I ain't gonna lie. See, I didn't know, bro. It look like he had rabies, bro. You never know. But people probably be feeding it. That might be so that. I, I feel like, like that. That's the city's dog. Whole dog. Yeah. Our dog just be city. chilling. Okay. Get a free Wi-Fi. We should go inside the motel city. Oh. oh. <laughs> Nah, I ain't gonna lie, we should go to the Motel 6, make a video for the main channel. Basically, like, staying in, like, you know how, uh, I'm not gonna say the name, but y'all know we started that little train. Um, where you go inside the little hotels and just stay in there for 24 hours, and then you have, like, another friend staying in the luxury one for 24 hours. I got the luxury. Yeah, nah, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> nigga. We, we flipping a coin or something. Hell no. Nah. And, hey. and then you just gotta vlog your experience. You just gotta go, like, basically look at the sheets, look at the fucking behind you. You feel me? You gotta do all of that. Hey, chat. Comment down who need, who needs the luxury and who needs the uh, Motel 6. Nah. They gonna say Bond. <laughs> they Bond luxury for sure, for sure. Hey, it's not finna say that. Nah, we gonna flip a coin. Make it fair. All right. Y'all play Call of Duty, y'all know the rest. That shit looks dead on the rest, bro. It might not be, though. I could be wrong. But I think that's the rest, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit damn yeah. near do look like it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Only real ones know what the rest is. You feel me? It's a lot of young niggas that be watching me that probably don't even know what Call of Duty I'm talking about. But if you know the rest, you're a real one, bro. You, you've been around. You've been around. Don't probably not gonna know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry, that's it. Couldn't relate. Couldn't relate. <laughs> Sun is going down. God. It's gonna be dark by the time we get there, though. It's gonna be hella dark. Bitch, I don't need to be tracking that hoes with this much shit. No, the police can't next. Don't stick in them bubbles in. How you know? Yes, sir. That is the boys. I'm about to go 55, nigga. What the fuck? I'm over here speeding. I seen the lights too. I didn't think nothing of it though. I, I thought it was just like other different motorcycles, you feel me? On oh, me, that's exactly what I, It might be though. I don't think this is the boy. Nah, I see I kinda see a white helmet. <laughs> <laughs> On oh, me, the white helmet. <laughs> the white helmet gives it away. I see said I kinda see a white helmet. But motorcyclists, they be wearing white helmets sometimes. I don't know. They know me we wear that black now. the boys for sure. I ain't gonna lie, I oughta peeled off on them, boy. Hey, listen, bro, I got a three-hour drive. I oughta peeled off on them boys. They would've turned on their lights. You ain't finna catch me on no goddamn motorcycle. I ain't gonna lie, I got three hours, bro. They can't go out their jurisdiction. For those who don't know, they can't go out their jurisdiction. They gotta stay in city limits. Some shit call back up. Back up not gonna help either. Fuck it, we getting off on the side of the road. Don't let that boy Mikey whip DB. Oh shit, I see him. Oh, oh shit, that's what he's from. That boy Mikey from the whip Shit. For no goddamn Burger King now. Oh God, I'm not. Damn. Oh, joke at all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 you know what I was thinking? I was thinking some goddamn canes. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck! Fuck! The hairline showing this shit. Uh, <laughs> <my> hairline. <laughs> <laughs> it is the 
my nigga, look at you! You got me fucked up. Hell no, you got me fucked up. Yeah, like, fucked up. Man, it's windy and cold as shit, bro. I'm used to this. Huh? I'm used to this. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Wait, look. Hey, Mikey is the most anemic. I know he's cold as fuck. He got shorts on too, bro. I know this nigga Mikey cold as shit. He cold as shit, bro. Y'all probably can't even hear me, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's probably blowing all up in the mic. Think about me. But y'all see what's about to happen. Filling up right now. Twice. Yep. I filled up before I left. Filled up. Halfway here and then filled up. Just about to be the last fill up. Then uh, I'm gonna be at my mom's house. And then uh, yeah, bro, we're about to grab something after this, bro. I'm gonna catch you guys a little bit later. Same. Oh god. <laughs> that was the only thing that was like most bonkers. Not no. There ain't nobody working in the back, bro. I feel about to take as long as it. Oh god. I feel like it's just one person. I mean, it's somebody. It's only one place in the back, bro. I feel about to take as long as it. My stomach is growling. So like when you're hungry, when you look at a meme like this, and you want everything you want to get. Oh God! I ain't gonna lie, everything you get. I'm gonna make you fat. What you gonna get? Uh, of course I gotta give me the uh, chicken quesadilla, and then I might get two cheesy cortitos. <laughs> not one but two, bro. But you know, the thing is, you know I'll finish them. You know I'm gonna finish that shit. <laughs> that nigga said, fuck the cheesy cortinas. Yeah, I'm about to go to um, Carl's Jr., bro. If I go to Wood Shit, I'm hungry as shit right now. My stomach eating my bag. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, bro. <laughs> I'll be damned. Bro, you look tired as shit. <laughs> yes. I ain't allowed to listen. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Four or five? Damn. I'll show you something else. Like some chicken tenders on the side. Yeah, some chicken tenders on the side. <laughs> hey, this thing is sound like fantasy. <laughs> let me get two. Let me, let me get three boxes, bro. Pepperoni. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, with the deluxe on it though. Everything on it. I mean? Let me get the little cheese sticks too that it come with. <laughs> hey. Like <laughs> you tell that sound like right there talking about the bro, no. Yeah, the chicken tenders. The chicken tenders do sound good too. Oh me. I'm gonna have to give me some jalapeno poppers. Oh. Ooh. I forgot about that shit. <laughs> can I get uh, three or uh, can I get two big calls? And um uh, can I get chicken tenders? Chicken tenders? Uh, three. And then can I get the jalapeno poppers? How many? How many come with that? Six or nine. Uh, I'll take six. And then two drinks. A large. That should be really good. We got about like an hour and 20 minutes left. Go to ride there at 10, 20. Talk to say. About 9 or 2. So life's just baby. Let's get to swiping, baby. No, you the one. No. You went all the way around the corner. I didn't tell you to go around the corner. Open the gate. Open the gate. <laughs> open the gate. Never mind. You don't even need to open it. Make a U-turn. Go to the light. Make a U-turn. You went all the way. Around the <laughs> all right. What about parking? I don't know what the hell we about to get into tomorrow, but I'm about to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna be on my phone chilling. I'm about to hit the hay, bro. I'm tired of driving. Tomorrow gonna be a better day. I got some main channel content coming for y'all though. About to be lit as hell. One on nine right here. But yeah, I got some main channel content coming for y'all. Y'all stay tuned for that. She about to get lit. Y'all already know what's going on. Make sure y'all like the video. If you made it this far into the video. Oh shit! What the f bro? Don't be. <laughs> You scared the hell out of me. So put that in your window and you come in through the door for apartment. Alright, Mom Dukes. Don't back up too far because if all your stuff is in your trunk. Oh, uh, yeah, I do got some stuff in the trunk. Alright. Alright. She scared the fuck out of me. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know 
What's up? Y'all stay tuned for the content, all right? I'm going to sleep. I'm going. Oh, yeah, no kids? San Jose? San Jose, right? Yeah. yeah. We in San Jose, we back I ain't got the mic on me, so you feel me? I try to hit up the unspoken words for the second channel people. Can they do it? But we gonna come back on Friday when it's really like low key popping. I feel like everybody's just at, just at the house chilling right now. Like nobody's outside for me. So Friday, we gonna come back Saturday, maybe. And we're gonna try to film and get some of the main channel content. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, everything you know. Hella random, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Last night, right, my mom had gave. She has like some edibles and some other stuff to like help her sleep. And she had to get a Mikey an edible because Mikey, you feel me, he be, he be chiefing it sometimes. And he had took two edibles that was like, what, 20 milligrams? And, bro, this dude was sitting here like, hey, brother, the stuff that your mom gave you, like, does it make you feel high, sleepy? Like, do you feel it yet? I'm like, nah, why? I look over at Mikey, bro, he just like, I'm like, nigga, what the fuck is up with you, bro? And, I'm gonna insert the clip from last night, bro. This dude was tripping out, drinking hella milk and shit. Like, he almost greened out, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. But the edibles and shit, just based off of what he had, I never do that, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm never taking two. I'll probably take one, but not two, bro. That shit, bro. Like, if we was ever stream, bro, I ain't gonna lie. We, we might have to try that shit. I'll try just, it. just don't green out so we don't get, like, you feel me? You don't green out. I'm not bro. gonna green out. Listen, bro, I don't know, but that shit was just funny as fuck last night. Nah, that shit was really funny. Like, I'm floating. Like, he was sitting still. He talking about he felt like he was floating. I'm like, yo, this man is tripping. Like, get ass tripping. But shit, we had to shop at the mall shop. I got some lights. So, man, I don't know what else I'm going to grab, but I don't know. I'm here with my sister. Her big head ass. Y'all, you want to know something crazy? I don't really show my, my family on the... Uh, I guess I'm ugly out here to these people or something. She, you know what she said, bro? She said, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> kept it pushing, bro. Bro, look at my outfit, bro. I'm on some chill shit. I'm on some chill shit, bro. She seen the slides and everything. She probably like, oh, this nigga. No type of motion. <laughs> well, it's cool though, you feel me? I'm not the type to sit here and be like, oh, I dropped a scat pack, like you fucking with the wrong one. Like, I ain't from the scene trying to flex on me, but like, yeah, everybody got their preference. And the thing is, I'm not trying to attract gold diggers anyway, but that shit there. I don't see how niggas put that shit on every day. And just don't like how how are you okay being with a gold digger knowing that this girl wants you for money? She don't even really genuinely care about you. Like you go broke next day, next month, next year, she's gone, bro. She's on to the next nigga. You're tripping. I can't attract no gold digger, bro. I can't do it. Like nigga, so I be dressing casually, you feel me? If the female wanna fuck with me like this, okay, I fuck with you, bro. Other than that, if I got on Balenciaga, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, all that shit, bro. And now she choosing? Cool. At this point, we're just exercising, walking. This is one of the biggest shit I'm lost. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. We ran into that nigga Ronnie Banks. That shit crazy, bro. That's... Hey, if y'all know Ronnie Banks, comment down below, bro. If you don't, you're too young. My YouTube channel here. This, that was the most awkward interaction I ever had with a supporter. Bro, I ain't got the best off 
outfit on out here in Cali, it just seemed like a lot of these females are just bougie out here. So I gotta put that shit on when I come and shoot the video for my main channel for sure. But Sophie most definitely gonna hit us. <laughs> I think they want me to say something, but it's gonna be a good ass video, but y'all stay tuned for the main thing. I'm done showing y'all extra clips, giving y'all behind the scenes, and y'all not liking the video. Y'all niggas need to like the fucking video. Like the video, it's simple. Just go down, like, go back up, watch the rest of the video. That's all you gotta do. Alright. Until y'all do that, then I'll start giving y'all more behind the scenes footage. But if not, y'all get like three mats every video. <laughs> Grandma got that shit on y'all. See, she got the true religion jumpsuit though with the with the Gucci shoes though. <laughs> she dripped down right now. Come on for a second. Hey, see, this shit is nice though, but 905, man. You can do something. Yeah, I'll leave the price tag on that bit. I'm gonna wear it out one night and I'm gonna come back and return that bitch. I'm gonna just have one out. Oh shit. Yeah, this shit tough. I ain't gonna lie. This shit tough? It was. This shit tough, man. Well, I don't know. I don't know where to pay for that. Thank you. Not bad. <laughs> 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 you should have run off when he was like, Mike, you bad. I would. Talking about not that bad. He was not going to buy no shit for those six if I, got, if I got it like sweater, that, I'm going to buy that motherfucker. A sweater for 605 is crazy. Even if I got it, I'm not. You, you get that? That pawn? Let's see what this talking about. Let's see what the price is. Like, this is when you know you got to make a lot of money. Oh my god, just to, just to grab that hole off the uh, fucking hanger and shit. That shit, 950? Yeah. 950 for this. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, to acquire shit like this, to have that expensive lifestyle, bro, you know how much money you gotta make just to buy a sweater that costs 950? Some of them, but, but look at this, some people just, just look for their size and just grab that hole and leave. It's gonna get like that, but like, I don't know, this shit is tough, though. Cheap section. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just playing. The day will come where I'll come in here and just grab whatever or some shit. I don't know about today though. I ain't feeling it. <laughs> nah, I know 950. Especially in the 950. I don't know what the fuck I want to do. How much though? How much though? 598 $600 for a pair of jeans, nigga. I can get this shit at Fresh Society, bro. Look at this shit. This ain't even a Mary's. Yeah, we can. Right, How far is it, though? Hold on, I'm gonna call you right back. I'm gonna call you right back. I got me like, a couple shirts. I got me four shirts, actually. That's all I got. Hi, how are you? I was looking around for us That's about it. He's only eight, bro. Should I get him? Them bitches. Oh, big ass rain boots. Let me see. What size are they? She the, she the type to wear the red boots that just came out the Astro boots. You wear those? Astro no, boys. I would never wear those. I would never wear those. Literally, designer brands is just a social experiment to see <laughs> how many dumb motherfuckers gonna buy this shit. Cause like, who, who coming in here to talk about some? Oh, I want these. Them sexy as fuck. Eight ninety five for some rain boots. Yes, quality. Feel the. Qu it's all about quality. All right. When you spend in a bag, you want quality shit. That is Crocs. <laughs> Those yes, are Crocs, and they just but sold. it's a Balenciaga partnership. Come on now, that's that's what put the price on it. Croc is the goat for even collaborating with Balenciaga. Like they knew what the fuck to do. Smart shit. Designer, even when you start your brand, that's what you gotta think. Who could I collab with? How am I gonna make money? You feel me? That's what it's about. But everybody gonna buy some shit. 
the Fuck Lissy the shoe. Aga. This is what make the shoe cost the money. They all it's making the money name. off of them motherfuckers. Uh, the Who is buying these? <laughs> Who? <laughs> people buy that shit. Who? People, Just because the name is. People don't even buy Balenciaga and Fendi, Prada, Gucci, and all that for the shoe, the quality. Nigga, they buy it because the name. Exactly. This shit is ugly as fuck. No, it's not. How much are these? These are so hard to me, bro. Look at this. You can dress this on anything. Sweatpants. Eleven fifty. That is somebody rent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is somebody rent. And that's another thing too. It's exclusive. I don't want those. Shit. Every hood nigga, every scamming ass nigga got these, bro. I'm not getting those. These ugly low key. Oh, I was about to get some the Queens, but. Wait, what is these? Queens? Yeah, let me shit no, these ugly. But um, these right here? No, five bucks. Ooh, you put that shit on with a fit? They're gonna be like, well, you got that shit on. You, see, you you walking around with these, no. nigga. You just a typical nigga. <laughs> you a typical nigga, you walking around with these. Where does Chanel Those shit look like Ben 10 shoes. <laughs> That's ben what I'm saying. Like, no, we need a. This shit not even popular, though. Where's Christian Dior at? They probably ain't even got that up here. Look, off-white too, they be having that shit too. But they just trying to be like ducks too much. So that's how I probably would have fucked with shit. Because like they just, you just. Off-white coming up and play out with the shoes. Yeah. With the shoes. I'll say they're close to us. But the Christian Dior's, where the Christian Dior's at? You guys have Christian Dior's? You guys have a Dior's? I got these already. They're old. You don't see too many in the white joints. They're ugly. Them are old. Them like 2020, bro. That's my size right here. Vaughn, are you fucking serious? See, that's crazy. That's, might, how, that's how you know Vaughn. Might as well nigga. do this. This shit got Europe. Okay, USA 10. Damn, that's a big ass 10. These are better. The colorway on bro, this I is better. I don't want a shoe that every nigga can get. No. It don't matter about other niggas, bro. See, I fuck around the way. Some chain reacts or something. Oh, uh, uh, Versace? I put these bitches. Bro, you tripping. Them you don't old. really see too many. They old, but you don't see too many niggas walk around right there. Not no more. more. You see niggas in those. Yeah. That's a fact. These right here. Lemon pepper steppers. <laughs> Remember when he used to hop up when he would burn the fucking um you don't fuck with Remember when he used to burn the rolls and he'd be like, Bon! <laughs> you would get the roll? Remember he oh, would yeah. burn the roll? Yeah, I don't know. He was hella funny, man. YouTube. I decided to record this since this is probably gonna be the one and only time I come out here for real. But this is the city that I grew up in, bro. This small ass town called Menlo Park, California. You feel me? Small ass town. Everybody knew everybody in this area, bro. I promise you, bro. Niggas will be playing tag in the summer on all streets. Sometimes we'll stay on one block, be hiding in people's yards and shit like that. This shit is small as hell, but. Crazy, bro. I know this ain't the hood, but this was like damn near like the hood to us, cause it was this area is hella small, and uh, I used to live right here. Shit crazy. Used to stay right here. Small ass little creep. Nigga, it looked like a hood, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look like a village hut or something. Wish I'm about to go in here and go say what's up to him or whatnot. I'm about to go see my homeboy. He down the street. Shit. I don't know. That's about it for real. I have to go clean out my dad's car. Shit crazy, bro. Shit crazy. Shit crazy. I ain't mad at God. I ain't mad at the world. It's life. But damn, I just wish you would have told somebody, you know? As his son. You feel me? I don't know. I feel like you should talk about anything when it comes to your son. And like, health is one of the biggest things. So, for him not to tell me that, that shit is just crazy. Man. But, you know, life goes on. One minute they're here on earth, and the next minute they're gone. It's sad, but it's like, it's like, I can't really dwell on it too much because it's like, I can't bring them back from the dead. So. That's crazy, bro. A little bit. The good thing about it is, though, I carry his name, so I'm just a junior for those who didn't know. Um, 
I'm a junior. He's a senior. It is what it is, bro. We on to the next. I'm about to go in here and say what's up. Y'all like the video. I'm going to catch you guys a little bit later. This nigga is ugly, It's hella dark. Turn your lights on. Turn up the brightness. Up, turn, the, turn the aperture down. What's up with you, man? How you been? How you been, nigga? Shit. Mom, what's up? Get your ass up, <laughs> Oh, shit. Come on, nigga, man. Uh. sister woke up this morning, I don't know why I was tired, I think I went to sleep at like 7, 6 in the morning or something like that, I was editing, my sister was like, oh let's go to IHOP, I woke up, I'm like, oh that shit sound good, I'm right back asleep, you feel me, but we here now, though. it's 7 o'clock after I had finished doing what I was doing with everything, you feel me, about to go crazy on this little happy hour. Oh, see that? That's my type of price right there. Great value starting at six dollars. Man, what the fuck are you talking about? Damn, my camera about to die, bro. I was trying to film after this. Man, you gonna try to do this shit? But now niggas about to go in. Woo! <laughs> 